are lovely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have only visited R for a week, but the lovely walk we did this week at the Meadows Park was wonderful. The beautiful scenery and the array of colourful spring flowers in the sunshine made R smile. Whoops. You're still staying, Brenda. In there? Do you think if he stays there long enough, you think he's going to get some food, Brenda? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, we didn't know we were going to see any. Yeah. Well, I didn't realise it was, you know, tipping down. Do you think they'd eat cake? Hmm? Do you think they'd eat cake? Oh, yes. Well, don't you think they'd eat cake? Well, I don't know. I think they'd probably rather bit of apple or something. Yeah. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? And I don't blame you. <laughs> Looks like he's kissing you from here. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, he's yawning now. Got some teeth there. There's <laughs> a black and white one coming now. Oh, look at the little foal, Brenda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a friend, Renda. For life. <laughs> I think so. One of the best days I have had was with a nearly 100 year old lady, RF. We would always have a really good chat, and I asked her when she last had pancakes a few days before Shrove Tuesday. She said that she hadn't had pancakes for years. I decided that on my day with her, I'd bring along a pre-made bottle of pancake mixture. It was so special to be able to share the amazing moment with her. Months later, on VE day, I brought little cakes, scones and cream. It's amazing to be able to share those moments with precious people. A few months later, she died. This Shrove Tuesday, 2021, I remembered with gladness and sadness my pivotal moments with RF. All of these giving of ourselves touches us, and it's hard to keep on living in the same way when you are supporting families in their greatest time of need. Hi, this is Sandra Anstey. Um, I would just like to tell you about the most wonderful lady that I have privileged to care for um, for the last couple of years. Um, and I've had some amazing times with her. Um, she loves walking and um, we've been on some beautiful walks. Um, the most memorable for me was taking her up to Princetown um, and we walked over the moors and she told me about um, her childhood and being um, an extra in a film and it was called the, the Escape, and she re recited verbatim the whole film, and she was about 18 years old and on a, on a horse. Um, and I researched it, and it was all, you know, amazingly true. Um, and uh, she told me how the lead actor um, wanted her horse because he was a better horse than hers, so. Um, but Margaret's love of horses and our amazing journeys we've had together. The two clients I looked after, with the help from other caregivers, unfortunately are no longer with us. 
but I will always remember turning up to their house and seeing their big smile and finding out what they have done that day. They were always asking how my day has been and lots more. We used to talk about different kinds of music, classic cars, and just having the most amazing time together. But not just with them, with their loved ones as well. I will never forget them and do miss them still. But not just at the Tavistock office, the Hemel office I worked for too, and I have never forgotten all the happy times and all the memories I have had with my clients. Snakes and ladders, and that's our favourite. Yeah, I like snakes and ladders. You like snakes and ladders? Yeah. Okay. We're going to roll the first dice. That. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to roll this one. Ooh, number three. So you start one, yeah. two, three. Yeah. And then it's my turn. Ooh, I have a Ooh, five. five. Another one. Four. Four. You pass me. Two, three, four. Yay. Ooh, I meet you back again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's your turn. And you had what? A child too. Yeah. Four. Four. Oh, you pass me. One, two. Three, four. Oh, up the ladder. <laughs> you up the ladder. <laughs> you beat me. You're gonna say hello home instead. Hello. Hello home instead. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, <Okay. mwah. laughs>